It is the 25th of the 7th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I know I took a long vacation, a uh, long weekend anyway. I uh, enjoyed myself, a lot of things uh, that's going on here locally in my life. That uh, It's just that time of year, I'm busy. And uh, all my free time I do put out, I put on YouTube. That's why I'm nowhere else but YouTube. Uh, seems to be a nice launching pad for uh, the information that I'm trying to put out here. But we're going to start on EarthChangesScott.net today. And more aftershocks hit Japan as radiation is picked up in Glasgow and Scotland. Uh, apparently we had another 6-3 and a 5-2 quake. And of course these quakes continue. Um, they're so-called aftershocks. And again, the whole shelf is unstable and sliding towards the ocean. They actually have films out where the tide comes up into these cities now and uh, all the madness that that entails. Another story, scientists find volcanoes were responsible for the past increase in atmospheric CO2 levels. Well, big surprise there, folks. Uh, pour enough magma out through the Earth's crust and you can change the atmosphere radically. Really? Um, then they go through 20,000 years ago. The meat of it here, comment, these are the volcano eruption observed on land in the past two months. Alaska, the Aleutian volcano showing signs of impending eruption, Indonesia, Mount Lukan, Sicily, of course, we've got Etna, uh, Ethiopia, thousands need uh, aid after that big volcano eruption, Mount Sputan volcano in Indonesia, the Chilean, of course, a volcano colors southern hemisphere skies, and that's still ongoing. Uh, volcano in Ecuador, the Rivenator, and Kamachka, um, Shevilch volcano erupts in Russia, and prehistoric East African volcano roars to life. Mexicans, Papasan, there's a uh, the volcano in Mexico going off. Most volcanoes are under the world's oceans. Still think localized warming is man-made. And again, they, they just can't suppress a lot of the the carbon tax scam that's going on and these people are screaming climate change, climate change, climate change. And it's your fault. It's, it's not what's going on on this planet and in the solar system. Um, and again, that's a big reason why I call my updates climate change updates. It's kind of using their own tools against them. Um, just bear in mind that there is a huge Ponzi scheme, carbon tax scam going on, and uh, they're always trying to get more and more out of you. U.S. Mississippi runoff expands Gulf dead zone. Now, the BP oil disaster last year and the Corexit can't have anything to do with this Gulf dead zone. Uh, they're blaming the flooding in the Mississippi Valley, of course, um, pouring out into the Gulf of Mexico for the huge fish kills in this big um, oxygen deprived dead zone in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, so, en so enjoy your sniff test safe seafood. Australia dug on death's ecological disaster and um, it looks like their version of the manatee was uh, found washed up on a beach in Glasgow, like Gladstone Harbor. Uh, the fourth dugong, along with three dolphins and 40 turtles, have been found washed up around the harbor since May. Uh, Alaska, al no, U.S. alarming dead zone grows in the Chesapeake Bay. A giant underwater dead zone in Chesapeake Bay is growing at alarming rate because of unusually high nutrient pollution levels this year, according to Virginia and Maryland officials. They said the expanding area of oxygen starved the water on its track to become the bay's largest ever. And uh, that's a huge problem with all of the flooding and whatnot going out of that. Um, again, that current, that the Gulf current runs right up buy that with all those millions and millions of gallons of Corexit and oil and everything else that's been dumped into the water with the bacteria um, degrading it and all that going on that nobody's talking about. New Zealand wintry blast brings worse snow in a decade and uh, the southern hemisphere is having one heck of a winter uh, thanks to volcano output. The worst snow in at least 16 years 
brought parts of the country to a standstill today. Heavy snow, sleet, high winds made conditions treacherous throughout the country, and motorists were urged to avoid all but urgent travel. Heat wave bre breaks records in parts of the United States and Canada, and again, this is all over the news. It's so hot, it's so hot, it's like living in an oven, blah, blah, blah. Uh, New Jersey reached 108 degrees Fahrenheit, or 42 degrees Celsius for everybody else in the world. Uh, the highest ever recorded in the city. Um, and again, they're having power, everybody's sucking up the power for air conditioning and whatnot, and uh, people are uh, out in the heat, dealing with the heat. Um, of course, um, hospital visits and, and all the the heat ensues and uh, strong 6.2 magnitude earthquake strikes off Papua New Guinea that's a very active area in the ring of fire uh, Idaho US giant hole closes highway 55 near Marsing uh, the Iowa the Idaho Department of Transportation closes section of highway 55 east of Homedale Sunday evening after a culvert failed and irrigation waters ate the 20 foot wide hole into the side of the road. And again, this has to do with extreme weather and the flooding and blah blah blah. And the, there's, the whole weekend was filled with like sinkhole stories. Sinkholes, sinkholes in Florida. There's a sinkhole in Canada with a stream about to go into it and that will entail it flood a huge mine. And uh, just sinkholes everywhere going on right now with this heat. Over to the extinction protocol, Washington's fiddles around with while global markets are set to burn, all according to plan. And if you think they're not playing this out, you're sadly mistaken. Solar system wide changes, scientists find recent volcanic activity on the moon. Very interesting read. Uh, and again, it's not just here. Your SUVs aren't warming up the rest of the solar system. Um, but they sure want you to pay your extra carbon tax for that. Double earthquake starts strikes new uh, New Ireland region in Papua New Guinea, and it uh, looks like we had a six two and a five one. And again, the New Zealand wintry blast, um, earthquakes in Japan. Is genetically modified food linked to a to the the, the obesity epidemic uh, in the world? And they're saying um, weight gain and obesity, obesity among young Americans began about 15 years ago. A new study finds our, re our research documents the emergence of, of, of the obes obesity epidemic along adolescents in the later half of the 90s among young adults in the 2000s. And again, this is when all these big GMO foods start rolling out on the mainstream. And, uh, people just think it's every day uh, when they're stopping by to the drive through to pick up their burger on their way home uh, instead of actually cooking a homemade meal. Mass release of methane in oceans tilted earth towards past extinctions and again um, as the temperature rises, the ocean temperature rises due to volcanic activity, um, there's frozen methane all throughout the oceans. I mean enough where we could literally power all of our energy just off the methane in the ocean uh, that nobody tells you about that um, but as the ocean heats up the methane melts and comes up and it releases causes greenhouse gases and just um, just picks up the situation I mean as far as it intensifies uh, methane is a very strong greenhouse gas and uh, it's coming out in tons and tons and tons uh, beaches in Spain closed from jellyfish invasion, and I remember last summer doing the jellyfish reports over and over and over. Uh, just seems it's that time of year the jellyfish have really been, uh, at least these last two years, very, very active. Cloudburst storm dumps record rainfall on Chicago, and again, we've been having crazy, crazy weather up here in the northern uh, central United States and southern Canada central. Um, as far as continuing right there with that the jet stream is just dumping that water right where we don't need it. We, we remember we got the Fort Calhoun nuclear power plant, the Cooper nuclear power plant under flood advisories. Um, I think they've been taken off of um, um, unusual event status, um, but uh, everything's under control, folks. Go back to watching your shows. And finally, over to the RSOE today uh, earthquake in the Canary Islands. Uh, forest fire in the province of Ontario, Thunder Bay, 
uh, Sandy Lake area, uh, of course the heat wave in the United States, flash flooding in the Philippines, and uh, of course uh, flash flood in Bangladesh, got flooding in uh, Ghana, and I wanted to make a comment on the terror attack out of Norway. Um, the mainstream media is pushing this as a Tim Timothy McVeigh style uh, attack and that terrorists don't have to be Muslims, they look like me and you, and to uh, watch out for these patriotic um, patriot uh, websites that these people are transpiring on and apparently he's been online and they found all this stuff and of course this is going to be another reason for them to try to crack down on free speech on the internet. Uh, you just can't let a good crisis go to waste yet, right? How convenient. And um, all the other things that are going on today weather-wise. Uh, there are a few things going on in Fukushima and Japan as far as radiation goes. I will make another video on that since I'm already into 11 minutes. Again, good to be back. Enjoy it while you can. And thanks for all your help, everybody. I appreciate it.